This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stolenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now in front of the house and I'm getting ready for a, like a day vlog. Uh, sometimes I have these somewhat busy days when I go from Yasheim to Oslo and then do some stuff, usually swap cars and also include some other things because from, from Yasheim to Oslo, it's roughly a 20, 25 minute drive. And instead of going too much back and forth, we just try to gather more tasks in one day. So I actually just finished 500 kilometer challenge with this E up. <laughs> this belongs to Mushkus Bill, and he wants to sell it soon. So yeah, okay, quick uh, to-do list now. I'm going to drive this car over to Elbilmek, which is kind of far. I need to top up also. And then he will inspect it to see if there's anything wrong. I think they will do some service uh, on it and inspection. Uh, to see if it's good for selling you know or if something needs to be repaired and then i'm going to test a sole that um, elbilmac bought which has uh, some broken cells so it's a kaput semi kaput battery still drivable but it has reduced you know capacity we're going to test that and then uh, I will drive the E up over to Ries Bielgras and they will replace the cracked windscreen. I can show you here. Uh, well, oh yeah, well, by the way, uh, yeah. we have Highland here also, probably for sale soon or at least for rent. But yeah, this happened uh, after the yellow test. Like, bam, what are the chances, man? I wasn't even that close. And then, bam, and it cracked up. And this is heated windscreen even. <laughs> so yeah, so we will also drop off the car and then it's going to take a while, but then I don't care anymore. I'm done with the car. I have broken it and then I just return it to much because that's how I roll. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool. Uh, we have insurance on it. And then I will go to Batlosten and pick up smart hashtag one Brabus. I'm going to be testing that soon. I can't wait to put banana boxes in it and do acceleration test and thousand kilometer and all that stuff with the smart Brabus. So that is the outline for my day. So let me show you now. I mentioned that I just finished 500 km challenge. The battery, you know, this car has no thermal management. So the battery was quite smoking hot. We had over 40 degrees Celsius, 42 or something. Now it's down to 39. It cooled down a little bit during the half an hour. I was in home just slacking and doing some stuff. So yeah, uh, we need to top up in order to get over to Mollemar. So hopefully it won't replicate too much. So anyway, yeah, here you see still the result from the 500 km challenge. But okay, let's unplug and then off we go. Oh yeah, we're on the move and just like other EV drivers, we'll be drafting behind a bus or a truck. Maybe I should go even closer yeah, to get the better effect of it and save energy. But then I will be exposed to uh, uh, stone chips, but uh, who cares? The windscreen is already cracked. It can't crack even more, right? We're going to get replaced anyway. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to slow down a bit and get some safe distance here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I wasn't kidding when I said that EV likes to drive behind trucks. So look at this Zoe. Uh, also behind this tipper truck, there could be gravel or dust or shit behind it. Uh, I wouldn't do that, man. Just take a charging stop, extra charging stop, or find something else to drive behind. Not this, but this buddy here. Oh, shit. We are now at YX, uh, Uno X, I mean, yeah, topping up. And ooh, we are back in the game. 46 kilowatt. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, the battery cooled down. Yeah, if you know from uh, earlier when, during the 500 kilometer challenge, it was charging at only around 30 kilowatt towards the end. So yeah, I'm happy to see 46 kilowatt. <laughs> well, okay, so uh, yeah, now we just have to uh, top up a bit and I have to grab some food because I'm gonna have some lunch with Valdemar. Oh yeah, we just topped up now for 16 minutes to 95%. Yeah, this is state of charge. Uh, this state of charge is a bit uh, misreported, so it's 95% roughly. So it makes wonders that the battery temperature is below uh, 39 degrees Celsius when we charge. So yeah, now we just get over to Valdemar and man, it's uh, it's plus four degrees Celsius and sunny. And we are now in the beginning of uh, March. So I feel like uh, spring is in the air. Uh, I'm not driving behind a van with uh, FFS written behind it. <laughs> yeah, if this was America, people would be wondering what the heck you're doing. No, it's uh, FFS and no, it's some 
big kitchen equipment. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> For fuck's sake, yeah. What the fuck, say? <laughs> okay, so now uh, you guys have checked out. Yep. Uh, what did you guys do, by the way, so far? Uh, we, we are doing uh, what's called um, Tilstan's uh, report. Okay. Uh, what's called in English? Some kind uh, of check the condition or something. Condition yeah. of the car yeah. <laughs> before <laughs> sale, sure. maybe. Uh, so, so far what we checked, uh, that uh, lights uh, is uh, working, turn lights, uh, wipers and uh, uh, this um, wiper uh, liquid is uh, working well. Uh, Mantas has managed to do the fault finding. Um, so what is uh, from interesting fault is that uh, it says that the refrigerant pressure lower limit exceeded. Um, which, one, which one is it? Oh. So it can be that uh, there is a little bit too little uh, refri refrigerator in the in the system, or. But this car has no uh, no battery cooling. So this must be for the cabin. For right? the cabin, yes. Uh -huh. For uh, probably for air condition for cooling. Oh, but it's so cold, so I never I haven't used the air conditioning yet. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, some, we think, not important fault, which could be just uh, small, small things. Uh, functional limitation for blower regulator one. Yeah, this is, sounds more important, but um, it would be difficult to find um, um, the problem of this fault. Control motor five voltage battery charging management. Okay, and then what's next here then? And brake discs uh, looks uh, quite good. Quite good. Actually. At least the uh, left side. How is the right side? You know, I've been driving a lot. Uh, I went to Yalu first. That's uh, almost 500 kilometer trip, and then I drove the 500 kilometers. So I take, I spent over a thousand kilometers <laughs> with these cars. So hopefully, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, actually, 20 percent rust. I can see. But oh, there's. Yes. Yeah, but it's not so much actually. Is that within limits? No. I mean, uh, the limit, limit is, is 25. Yeah. Right. But uh, I think it's still good to go. It's not in perfect condition, but yeah. still good to go. What about the rust here? Is this just surface rust? Or what? Yeah, it's just uh, normal yeah. rust. Not so important, I would say. Okay. This car has no protection in the front, so, or it's not originally not uh, installed, or it's missing. Oh, it's supposed to be that open? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's open. It has to be open. Mm. I can't. If I could remember, none of them have this cover. All right. Maybe it could be like a special. So there's no titanium. This plastic, I think, so is without because I don't see any, you know, this. Uh, Fixing points? Yes. Here are some fixing points, but maybe it's not for, uh, yeah, but for this. For example, this side doesn't have. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's probably yeah. has to yeah. be like this. But because uh, I don't remember last time I looked at uh, EGOF, uh, EAP. You know, Valima, when I did uh, the, the 1000 km challenge on uh, the Model 3 Highland, hmm? I ran over a piece of, uh, well, I think it was a piece of ice oh. on the road. But then the Tesla just crushed this like it was nothing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but if I would run into the same piece of ice here, <laughs> um, not sure how that would go. Yeah, it depends on which part you hit. I think if you hit in the, in the front and the engine, so here it's quite uh, solid metal, it wouldn't do any damage, but maybe if some hoses or some yeah, brake pipes or plastics, and then, then you could, of course, you could uh, do some damage. Hmm. But um, yeah, rest is quite solid metal. So, hmm. so we uh, uh, we hear some noise from a steering rack. It's just a uh, beginning. Um, yeah, I can try to shake it. Let's try it here. So there is the lift in steering rack. It yeah, it's in in inside. You, you can hear this small noise. I don't know how, how you call it. Okay. But uh, we think that uh, after some time it it will be um, bigger and bigger. Okay, I didn't notice anything. We did with the typical like over the bumps. Yeah, something like that. Oh, okay. 
We have uh, one uh, e-app uh, that we borrowed for customers and we uh, replaced Steering Rack uh, on ours, uh, was it a week or two weeks ago? And I hear that other customers also complain about the same problem. So it's, it's some kind of known fault for uh, those small cars. Mm. You see, you see Valma, th this is 14-inch uh, wheels. It's freaking tiny. <laughs> so. Is this the same size as uh, the wheels on your snowblower? <laughs> you have a Honda snowblower. How big are those wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Mine is, uh, well, it's called, um, my snow snowblower has a... Uh, oh, yeah, the belt? Belt. Oh. Yeah, but it's approximately that size. <laughs> like but, a brake disc. <laughs> but the, 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 this is drum brake, right? Eh? Yeah. But, but what about this, Rust? Is it okay or...? Yeah, it's, it is okay. It's just a surface uh, rust. Uh, like on uh, this kind of test, we don't uh, unmount uh, brake. Um, uh, so, uh, the drum or whatever. Brake drum uh, okay. to, to inspect, but uh, it looks okay. Like uh, the wheels are spinning uh, freely and uh, brakes uh, working as it should. Handbrakes, uh, handbrake as well. So we assume that um, that it's okay in uh, inside. And it's a really simple. Uh, system like a uh, suspension system on the on this car so it's actually not much uh, points to to check uh, the springs are uh, is okay they are not uh, broken there is no uh, stabilizers so shocks uh, not leaking uh, everything is dry and in the in the rear it looks everything uh, in uh, in good shape yeah, this is this means week 48, 2013. <laughs> Over 10 year old. But tire. which year model the car is? Uh, it's from 2014, I think. Uh, ah. Yeah, right, 2014. From the beginning. <laughs> uh, from tire, yeah, week 49, 13 also. It's like roughly when Millen Falcon was delivered. <laughs> <laughs> so 12 volt battery test uh, says that it's good. Uh, just need for some <laughs> reason recharge. So the voltage reported is 12.39 and uh, we measured 300 amps out of 400 rating. So okay. I think it's in, uh, it's in pretty good shape so far. Can okay, we check the brake fluid? Mm -hmm. 239. Oh, what, what should it be then? Lowest is uh, 140, right? Oh, okay. 150, I think so. Yeah. Oh, could be. Bad if we find out 150, it's all the bad. Let me also check the sunroof. So it actually has. Oh, look at. Wow, look at that. Huh? <laughs> in an in an E up. Cool, huh? Huh? Wow. But it, it actually works and no <laughs> leakage. <laughs> Unlike uh, the car behind us that tends to leak. Maybe that's why Tesla, they stopped uh, oh. yeah, having mm -hmm. open stuff like this. Yeah. Was it some wind noise or it's quiet? No, 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 no wind no noise with this. It was fine. Oh. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Broken car. Broken window, but... Oh, wow. Uh, you, you, yeah. you, you knew about it, right? Yeah, this one. Shit. <laughs> you see, we set the AC at low now. And we have a temp sensor there in the air vents. And then it's showing 80.6. So it doesn't look that um, air conditioning is uh, is working actually. And uh, yeah, as, as we see so, so on the fault codes, it's probably because of, uh, um, of there is too little um, gas, like uh, re refrigeration gas in the system. And um, I think it's because it's, there is a small leak. Okay, but what should the temperature be? Not 18? Uh, between 4 and 10 degrees. Ah, okay. So as, as lower as better. Hmm. Yeah, so that was just... Uh, I mean, it's not as extensive as the uh, NOF test. <laughs> no. But I think you guys at least cover the most important things. Yes. So, I don't know if we need to, to repeat, but uh, I think that the car is in quite uh, good condition. Uh, to have in mind that it's a uh, 2014 model, right? Yes. So the biggest thing uh, is that uh, air condition is not working. 
so we should find out the problem what it is and tires tires is really worn out and uh, should be uh, um, replaced as up i think oh man it is now past three in the afternoon i was hoping to be back in yesheim around three in the afternoon or before three in the afternoon but i'm at least one hour not more like one and a half hour drive from home and i have to go and deliver this uh, e-up at the uh, Ries Biergras also. So, well, uh, but uh, I did the test of... Uh, hey, what? what? Huh? Why is it blinking? Okay, no, but... Right, <laughs> I'm not sure what's up with that, uh, but I tested this car, uh, Soul. It was freaking scary, man! <laughs> but that will be covered in a separate video. There is so much stuff going on, details going on there. But yeah, so I have to just now get home and I've been charging the e up uh, while I was gone. I'm not sure how much, but um, we can check it out and see. So, yeah, I have, I have the key in here. So we've been slow charging. Right now I have dismantled everything, so I'm ready to uh, leave soon with it. Um, so let's see. We have, oh, oh, we have 40 battery. Yeah, no problem. Okay, let's get over to Oslo then. Oh man, it's 3.30 in the afternoon and uh, traffic is increasing. So uh, uh, soon when we hit the city, we'll find even more traffic. So fortunately on the way in here, we have a bus lane. And there are some time restrictions on the bus lane, but it's between six and nine in the morning since we're going into the city and then out of the city there'll be a restriction between uh, usually between 2 and 6 in the afternoon so well, well the right lane is not going that much faster either so I have to get this car over to Hellsfield where uh, Ries Bielglas is and they are closing in half an hour so well let's hope I can make it there or if not then uh, Maybe they have some key drop uh, solution. We are now at Therese Bildglas and uh, yes, they are driving the e up in now for glass replacement. So that's maybe the last time I see it or we'll see if I decide to buy it or not. Because actually after driving Soul, um, I mean the Soul feels bigger but also kind of wobblier, like more waggy SUV type, you know. But the once I sat in the e-up, it felt like a go-kart, man, in comparison. So, yeah, I have ordered now a taxi. So, <laughs> my day is still not over. I think the taxi will not come here, so I have to get over to uh, the main road. All right, we're now in the taxi. So, fortunately, the taxi arrived quite quickly because uh, the taxi stop is right over here. Well, actually, it might be several taxi stops around uh, uh, Hellsphere because Hellsphere is also uh, like a... Uh, point for uh, transportation for uh, bus m metro uh, yeah so um, yeah now we need around uh, 20 minutes to get over to uh, Batlosten and uh, they close at 5 it's 4 now so hopefully we make it there within an hour at least but yeah you know I had some bad experience with some taxis uh, you see this is Oslo taxi and there was one time I was at, at um, I, I deliver uh, uh, Nio in Nydal, uh, which is another side of the city. And then there was a taxi queue and I didn't uh, notice it, uh, that what taxi it was. It was a Model Y, so I said, okay, okay, let me sit in the Model Y and then get back home then. Um, that was not also taxi. And then once he started driving, I noticed that uh, the meter went up quite quickly. So after just uh, around 15 minutes of drive back home, it was Oh, almost a thousand, no, 900 something. No, I'm like, huh? 900? No, what the heck? Yeah, that's like 90 euros, you know? It's madness. <laughs> so from now on, if you come to Oslo, always use Oslo taxi. Yeah, then you, they, they have you know, the correct rates. So now let's see, how is it there? Oh, yeah. Also, we have plenty of electric buses. They work better now that the, the weather is not so cold. <laughs> Man, is it only me or does this look like a typical London taxi? <laughs> okay, so approach it. Oh, yeah, small. Wait. Uh oh. What, what happened here? Um, 
Seems like uh, the smart handle has been kaput, uh, broken already. Well, I had to check, by the way. Is there something else here? Okay, let's check for curb rush. So I can say that it wasn't me. Well, the traffic is moving at okay pace over here. So it wasn't that bad down out of the city. Man, I can't wait to get back home. Feels like a long day. Well, we're finally back home. So the smart is now charging inside the garage. So yeah, eventually once I clear up the garage, there should be enough space for two cars, but I'm going to shoot some banana box test there. I'm not sure when, uh, because I cannot do it in front of the house. It's just too wet, you see. Snow starts melt, uh, started melting, and then there are some parts that maybe shouldn't be like this. And then also here we have a big pile of snow. And of course, naturally when it melts, it just drains down that route, but also, some of the slope here is not correct, so it needs to be fixed once, uh, I mean, after Easter sometime. Yeah, that's why I park uh, Highland over here. If I park it over there, it's just too soggy, too wet, and we'll pull in the dirty shoes all over the place, man, inside the car. And eventually, I need to la lay down some, slap down some asphalt over here, but uh, I don't know when I have money for that, so yeah. Anyway. Oh, I think that's it. One long day. So at least for the following days now, I will not go to Oslo. Maybe I go to Oslo with the family, but that's different. That's way more chill. And uh, yeah. And then after one week, I return this car and then I swap to another car at Battle of Ten also. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.